In this video, I'm doing a demonstration of the DICE distribution spreadsheet available now for premium members of the USBGF that I have developed. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. My book, Backgammon Backgame Strategies, is available. There's a link in the description to where you can get it. And if you're interested in lessons, please email me. Uh, my email is in the description. So this is something uh, I've been working on to analyze positions. And I have prepared a spreadsheet for the premium members of the USBGF. So I'm gonna show a demonstration of what to do and how to use it. So this is designed for XG or extreme gamut. Um, if you would like to uh, analyze a position um, and it helps give you the distribution of the subsequent roles. So you see how the next role plays as well as the role after that. So as an example, I'm looking at a second role where white opened with a 6-3, uh, playing 24 to 18 and 13 to 10. And this is in a money game. And the uh, red in reply rolls a 5-1. This is one that's commonly misplayed. Oftentimes people hit twice, 8-7, 6-1. Um, so this is, this is what you do. You look at the analysis. You can hit the plus plus and it will show you the analysis. It turns out that 13-7 is the correct play going like this, uh, resulting in a position like this. Um, the second best play is to hit twice like so, hitting here and then hitting here, resulting in this position. Now, um, you can analyze this uh, with the dice distribution in the following way. So this is the spreadsheet here. Um, there are many tabs on the lower left. And the last one is the instructions. It basically goes through the instructions, which I'm going to go through um, in detail. So if you ever forget, it's in this tab named instructions. Uh, and I'll just read some of it briefly. The spreadsheet was designed to analyze backgammon moves using data from extreme gammon or XG. We'll show heat maps comparing two plays for equity, gammon wins, gammon losses, and gammon differential, which I'll discuss later. This data can be presented for the first role only, second role only, or the birth, both the first and second roles, two roles. The plays tab displays the correct play on the next role after the top play, play A, and the second selected play, play B. Cells highlighted yellow indicate that the plays are different after play A versus play B. So the instructions are here. And what I will do is do a demonstration. So I'm going to go back to this. And what you do is you highlight the two plays. Okay. And this will compare two plays. So it doesn't have to be the first and second play. In this case, it is, but you can select the first and third or any of those. Uh, but in this case, we'll highlight the first two uh, and Basically, what you do is you, you left click and then you scroll down to highlight both of them. Then you right click and then you'll see dice distribution here. So you'll click on dice distribution and then you're going to see this. There are many tabs on the top. You want to make sure you're on the details tab and make sure the flat radio button is selected. So you can select flat. First rolled, second rolled, expanded. Make sure you're on flat. There are other tabs that you can look at, but make sure you're on the details tab with the flat radio button. Next, you want to click on the icon with the most red bars. This will give you the strongest data. So you click on that. It will load the strongest data, uh, and this will give you the best results. Now, you have the data here. You just have to uh, export it into the Excel spreadsheet. So the way you do that is like so. It's very easy. You go into this area, and you right-click, and then you click Copy. And then you go to the Spreadsheet, and you go to the first tab, which is Data. And you want to paste it into the first red cell, A1. So you have to do this in a special way. Uh, otherwise, the formatting will will be off. You need to red, right click on that first red cell A1 and then go to paste text. Make sure it says keep text only, otherwise the formatting will be off. So you do that and it will populate the data. Then you go back and do the same thing with the second place. So right click, copy, and then you go back to the spreadsheet 
and you right click, paste text, there you go. So now all the data has been populated and imported into the spreadsheet and you can see all the different things. So for example, let's look at the first rule. So I'll go to the top here. And here, this is the equity heat map for play A. So going back to this, we can close this now. And the first one is play A. And I like to click on final so you see what the resulting uh, position looks like. So going back to this, this is the equity heat map for the opponent. So this is how all of their roles play. So this cell represents 1-1, one, 2-1, one, 3-1, one, 4-1, one, one, and so forth for all the 36 combinations and there's an average on the right. So this one, for example, is an average of all the ones, an average of the twos, and so forth. So what this means is the equity uh, for you after white rolls or the opponent rolls a double one um, after play A will be negative 0.251. So going back and looking at this, so Let's say white rolls a double one and comes in and then makes the five point. Now white's equity will be um, plus 0.251 and reds will be negative 0.251. Okay, and then this is the same thing for play B. So if we go to play B and select this, select final, this is what it would look like. Now um, your equity is even worse because after double one, white will come in with two and make the five point, sending another checker back. The way to compare these best is by subtracting these two. So if you take a value from this, this chart here and subtract from that the corresponding value or the value from the corresponding cell, it results in this. So this is the difference. This will show you all the swing rolls. The ones that are most in favor of play A will be the darkest green, while the ones that are most in favor of play B will be the darkest red, and everything else will be in the middle. White is neutral, and lighter greens favor play A, and lighter reds favor play B to a lesser extent. And this is also shown in a histogram here. So you can just see from the top play to the bottom play. So five, one, two, one, four, one are the biggest positive swing rolls. So you can look at the plays. So if you click here, let's look at the plays. So five, one, let's go back and look. So let's say you made the top play and then white rolls a five, one. You go here and the correct play is bar 24, 13, 8. So now if white rolls a 5, 1 in response to this, white should play bar 24 and 13 to 8. However, for play B, you see here, um, after you play the 5, 1 hitting twice, and then white rolls a 5, 1, uh, it's forced to come in with 2 and it hits. So if white rolls a 5, 1 from here, 1 would come in here and hit, and the other would come in here and bring in the second checker. Now, the difference in equity from these two is 0.7228. So that's the largest swing in terms of equity. Um, so that's the biggest swing roll. And then you can go through it for looking at 2, 1, 4, 1, and so forth, as well as the negative swing rolls. Now, we looked at all of this data. This is for equity only. If you scroll down, you can see the exact same data, but this is only for the gammon wins. So if you're at a score where gammons are valuable, like gammon go, this will be something that you may want to look at. Uh, additionally, if you're at a score where gammon losses are important to avoid, you, such as gammon save, you can look at this one. This one shows the gammon losses. And then finally, this is a little bit more advanced. It basically shows the gammon differentials, the differential, which is the difference from the gammon plus backgammon wins minus the gammon plus backgammon losses. So that's a little bit more advanced and more technical if you're interested in it. Um, going back to the plays tab, you can see the exact same thing for the equity swing rolls in the first table and then the gammon wins swing roll in the second table, the gammon losses in the third table and the gammon differential. Okay, and then you can look at the second roll. So this is the same kind of data. 
However, now this is looking at red's next play. So let's say we play this, white plays some sort of a random number, whatever it is, and then this looks at red's plays after that. So for example, double one is the best roll um, after, and three one is also very good um, as it's shown here as compared to the other one. So this shows your second rolls. Um, and then you can see the same thing with the gammon wins, gammon losses, and gammon differential. Now, if you want to look at the two rolls in combination, this is the two roll heat map for play A, hitting once. So these at the top are all of the opponent's next rolls. If you see whenever the opponent rolls double six, uh, they dance. So that's actually very good. That's why it's all green coming all the way down here. Now, these are going to be your rolls after that. So if you look, for example, if uh, the opponent rolls a double six, it's here. And then if you roll a double five, it's here. So that's the darkest green. Because what happens here is, let's say you roll the, you play the five one like this, and then white dances with a double six. And then you roll a double five, making the ace point on head and making the three point, forming a three point board with two checkers on the bar, then your equity is going to be the highest. So that's the darkest green. And these ones don't have numbers in it. There is a way you can see the numbers, but they would be so small that I just put the colors. And this one is the same thing for play B. And then this one is the difference. So you can see the same swing sequences. Okay. Um, so those are the swing sequences. You see the ones and twos are really good uh, for white, for blue, for sorry, red. Um, you see three, one and two, one um, and double one. If you go back and look now afterwards, red can play three, one by making the five point, two, one makes the five point, double one makes the five point. So that's what you can look at. Uh, so that's what you do. If you don't know what to do, go to the instructions. Basically, everything that I went through is here in the instructions. And then you're going to go to the data and paste it by right clicking and pasting text only. Keep text only uh, for the first play in the first red cell and the second play in the second red cell. And then you can go to these different tabs and you can see the results and analyze them. This is a great way to learn. And this is a great way for me to study because in backgammon, basically every time you make a move, you want to consider the possibilities of the upcoming sequence, whether it's your opponent's immediate next role or your role after that. And based on the probabilities of all of those, you want to determine what play is best. And this will show you exactly what to do. Now, people ask me, one of the most common questions is, how is this useful when you don't have access to it when you're playing a game or a match? The answer is, it's not useful at that moment. However, it is useful later when you're going back and analyzing the match, analyzing the game, so you can study and learn and see how the numbers play so that when you get to a similar position in the future, if not the exact same position, you know how to analyze it. So that was a demonstration of the dice distribution spreadsheet I have designed specifically for premium members of the USBGF. I highly recommend uh, joining the USBGF. I've been a member myself since its inception. There are a lot of great benefits, um, and I'll put a link where you can join and contact them in the description. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. Again, my book, Backgammon, Backgame Strategies, is available. There's a link in the description to where you you can get it. And if you're interested in lessons, please contact me via email. My email is in the description. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And until then, keep rolling your dice.